You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Haysbert versus Howard. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Ms. Haysbert, you are suing the father of your six-month-old son for a paternity test. You yes. claim the defendant, Mr. Howard, has never financially supported baby Ricardo Jr. Yes. You also state that he once led you to believe that he wanted to marry you and even asked you to have his baby. Yes. But once you were actually pregnant, you say he abandoned you and has since fathered another baby who mm -hmm. is only two weeks older than your child. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Howard, you argue that Ms. Haysbert told you that Ricardo Jr. was not your son and therefore is not your responsibility. Yes. You are countersuing for $1,000 in damages for a ring Ms. Howard pawned that was given to you by your late grandmother. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Haysbert, please tell me how your relationship began. I met this clown at the Washington <laughs> Redskins Stadium when we used now. to work Hold together. Hold on one second. Let's use respect for language. We were co-workers, and then after that, we became friends. Like, okay. we used to chill with each other outside of work. It was to the point, like, when something was wrong, he came to me. After that, you know, we started having sex, and we got what? drunk. <laughs> and so, yeah, we got drunk, had sex, and that's how I see my son. Got drunk and had sex. After that, <laughs> like, I knew he had a girlfriend, and, you know, I didn't mind because we were just friends. Then it came to the point where he told me, because when she was pregnant, when, you know, we first started hanging out, and she had a miscarriage. So he I told, told you me that... I told you I had a girlfriend. You so knew I had Keon, a girlfriend. Look, Keona, you, know you, you told wanted. me it was your girlfriend. You know what you wanted. Anyway, Keona was the girlfriend, and then he told me they broke up. So he was saying how he wanted to marry me, how he wanted me to have his marry son. you. So he didn't mind. He wanted to be in the relationship. This girl is crazy. So once I got pregnant, and I told him I was pregnant. He acted like he won a lottery. He was so excited. Uh, oh, Junior. Oh, I can't wait for you to have my son. He was so excited. Where the then money at? Soon, Where's the money at soon, if I won the lottery? As soon as my fifth or sixth month of pregnancy, he wanted to change up the tables. He wasn't there. He didn't even come to the doctor's appointment. At about six Girl, months. She's alive. Yes, and that's when the girlfriend started calling my phone, telling me, oh, they're still together, that he never oh, broke up with her, that he was, uh, that he lied, basically. I can't that she lived she with him. Court that they live together. So I was like, okay, well, he's I telling me y'all been broke up. I can't believe that you're lying in court. So I can't believe that you're lying in court. Me, she, when she called me, she asked me, oh, when do we start dating? And we were pregnant around the same time. So she was asking, really? oh, yes, pregnant around the same time. Her, his daughter was born now, December 27th. this is 27. a good moment that I think I want to hear from Mr. Howard now. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> yes. Because I have to say something. Yes. You know. I, I want to know did you get two girls pregnant at the same time? Yes, I did, Your Honor. But, but, I didn't mean to. <laughs> you didn't mean to. That's the only thing I can really mean say. To. But it you happened. Didn't mean but to. at the same time, didn't mean to. she did. She did you call me a clown. I won't respect your court. But she looking like one, but like she, for real. But she didn't mean. Let's be respectful. I am being respectful, because but she, the, she can't talk. Because the only person you're <laughs> you are making commentary about is yourself, because you exactly. just admitted that you slept with her. So it was obviously mm. something about You wanted this, life. so what are you saying? I ain't put no gun in your head. I ain't put no gun in your head. You found out she was pregnant. Yes. When? How? Did she, she told you? She called you? Yeah, she said, I'm pregnant. I said, no. oh, you is? I said, damn. So I said, uh, I said, Mr. Howard, you in the court. I apologize, man. I was like, oh, you pregnant? Okay. And she was like, well, what you gonna do? I said, I'm a man up. I'm, I'm, I'm a man about mine. That's, that's, I'm gonna take care of it. I don't, I don't know why she lying in court, but she knows that I'm a good guy. Yeah, I didn't okay. try to do all types of things. I didn't try to take care of my son, ask no, for a didn't. DNA test. No, he didn't. She didn't want to give me a DNA test. Okay. I didn't. So now I'm trying to understand your point. She told you she was pregnant. Yes. You said, if it's mine, I'm going to man up. Yes. But at some point, you said to yourself, this is important that I get a DNA test. Yes. Because you don't feel like you two were in a committed relationship when this happened. You felt like this could potentially be someone else's child she as well. She was bouncing around. I wasn't bouncing around. I was only with you. That's you. You were sleeping with me and Kiana at the same time. You had to lie and say that you weren't with her in order for you lie. to even talk to me. Yes, you lied. Why did I have to you lie? told me that you weren't with her anymore. I but yes, she was nothing. calling your phone, blowing up your phone. You said, I'm only going to be there for the baby. That's why I'm talking to her for the baby. You told me that your daughter wasn't yours because she was sleeping let, around on let, you. Can you I told me you didn't even know if the daughter oh was yours. God. But now you're claiming 
her. You do more for her what than you, you do for my, my daughter son. look just like me. What are you talking about? So Remember, what? She look, mm, I would okay. deal with a lot of stuff with yes. this female, Your Honor. And all this is all I hear. Because you're not doing anything. You're going to keep her. If I'm not don't doing you man anything, up. I didn't try, to, I didn't try to back order. plan. Let's get some order. Now, we're going to hear from uh, Ms. Lynch in a moment. That's Kiana. We're going to hear from her in a moment. Ms. Habert, Mr. Howard contends that once you told him you were pregnant, he asked you for a DNA test. No, he didn't. He was happy because when I found out I was pregnant, first I took a home pregnancy test. Okay. And I sent him the picture of the results. Oh, After God. that... And you say he was happy about yes. it? Yes. She said like He came lottery. over my house. She he was, like he used lottery. to rub my belly and tell my son, and while he was in my stomach, oh, I will never leave you. I will always take care of you. I'm gonna always be here for you. But he's lying because he hasn't been there at all. You crazy. I've been buying this stuff and you've been pushing nothing but first stuff First of all, away. you gave my son hand-me-downs. Do you think he about to wear What's that? What's a hand-me-down? I bought my son stuff. You I didn't buy him stuff. Why would I give you my son hand-me-downs? You crazy. You bought him hand-me-downs. She crazy, the just. So the clothes I would never buy my son no hand-me-downs. After he says that he would step up to the plate, you're saying he actually denied your son. He did. He want to play around since he want to act like he my dad. Tell him something, let's go get Dana. Let's go to the clinic to see who the baby is. Dana. And let me tell you, he the, like, he don't... He, ne, he said that he never told me he loved me one in a relationship. Here you go right here, Yana. He told me he loved me. He don't want to lose me. me that? So, you know... So what is that you have in your hand? How he was telling me how I'm his life. You know, his when life. we was together, he said he loved me. He used to always say, till death do us part when he gave me that ring. That's because I was... Uh, 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 I didn't give you nothing. You stole you it. You stole, stole it. You was a liar. Still stole you was a liar you. up in this courtroom. Whatever, that's all you're doing is lying in this courtroom. Order in the court. If you want more episodes of Ask Patricia, go If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Now, are these the kind of text messages you send to women that are just your friend? Love you, babe. Kiss my son for me. Kiss my son for me. You're acknowledging him. For, how are you going to deny him, then acknowledge him? What? Thank you very much. Okay, since we got so much about my son, since you're trying to make it seem like I'm just a bad like, guy why do and I have all to this catch stuff, bus won't you see? You have a car. Won't you see? When he was in the hospital. Won't you see the text message that she wrote me said that my son was dead? Ooh. What about that? Since you want to bust out, talk about I love you and I want you, girl. Please, hey, let's get back. Like I was saying, <laughs> can you uh, please get this to the, uh, your honor, please? I gotta know what in the world you talking about. She said she want to show stuff about text messages, which that's probably been a brick ago. But she's somebody sent me a text message, which I knew it was her. She tried to make it seem like it was somebody else, but it wasn't, because she plays Why a lot of games. And she said that my and son just was fun. dead. Hmm. These text messages do indicate that somebody was texting about a baby passing away. Your Honor, that don't have anything to do she with that. No, no, no. No, I don't know I'm anything about you, that. what do you know about I don't know anything about that. Kiana she called me hard. the next day saying, oh, Ricardo wants to know if his son she, is dead. And I let her know if something was to happen to my son, I would not let him know for the simple fact he's not there for him. He has no right to know what goes on in my son's life. But you my just said son. that I want I'll you. Take you him. said that he's I want mine. you. You're not Let's doing nothing. Order. What is you really doing? Let's get some order. I almost... Can't believe I have to do this, but I need to bring in and hear from Ms. Lynch. As if the courtroom was not already in an uproar. And bring her in, because she's going to tell you. Uh-uh. Let the excuse slut tell me. it like it is. Mr. Howard. Let the slut Mr. Howard. tell it like it is. He has no respect for her Jerome, anyway. please I would not escort Ms. Lynch into the courtroom. Your baby mother, dummy. Oh, you know. You know her name. Your Honor, this girl is a liar okay. because if she didn't have respect for me, she would have oh, been down. Were you guys on a break or were you together? Explain to the court what is going on. Yes, we have broke up one time, but when we broke up, it was a week, so I really don't call that as a broke up. For one, she knew we was in a relationship. She knew that. For them to get drunk, she wouldn't have respect for herself to sleep with somebody else's man. And, Mr. Howard, during that time, you were with Ms. Lynch, but you were also with Ms. Haber. Yes. So, Ms. Haber was your best friend. Best friend, side chick. I'm never nobody's side chick, sweetheart. <laughs> you were sleeping with both women, is the bottom line. He think yes. he baby boy, Yana. And what? at a certain point, you Dreaming? two women were pregnant at the same time. Yes. You're denying Ricardo Jr. is your child, or yes. you have doubts. Yes, because she told me one time when she was pregnant that I wasn't the father. 
She done told me that you ain't nothing, like she say, a sperm donor and all this. I done tried everything with this girl. I done tried to pull no, my heart out this girl. No, I done gave my son since You say hand me that when they was brand, when they was brand the new and all this. I she put up with all this she stuff. She can't even respect my son. I put up son. all this stuff with her because of her mouth. It was times when, when he first told me, like in the beginning, he told me, he said, he gonna come live with us, da 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 da, -da. I'm like, okay, cool, what's yours? But we I respect that. If he, your, if he your son, I'm your woman, that's my son too. I'm not gonna do Please. anything to her. Not ever, child. not that's ever. Just me. I'm a woman, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be a woman about math. I'm strong, I got faith, that's just how I am. So it was times when he came to the hospital, we got him close because she didn't have no clothes for he him. He had clothes. He you got some hand down. No, we you gave him hand down. That's why he didn't wear a only cloth. A blanket. All the she, stuff. Yeah, she brought him out the hospital with a blanket. January. He had an outfit on. Where you staying? He had an outfit. Let's outfit. get some order. You talking about the diaper? Mm -hmm. That's what you talking some about? Let's get order. Mm -hmm. Let's get some order. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Haysbert, yes. is part of your anger and your inability to just give Mr. Howard any benefit of the doubt is because you feel lied to on every level. Yes. Meaning, from the beginning. You yes. thought they were broken up, you, you were friends, and the next thing you know, you sleeping with them, but you find out they're really still together. Then once they're still together, both you all pregnant at the same time, he's paying attention to her when she's pregnant and not paying any attention to and you. And she calls my phone, asking me, are you and Ricardo still true. messing around? She told me, I check his voicemail, text messages. You do too much, sweetheart. You all she do much. is harass me all day, my every day. That you she texts me. Where my ring at? Where my ring at? It's gone. Th You're not getting back. Speaking the of the ring, I'm glad for once you brought up something I want to talk about, Mr. Um, she Howard. got a motor mouth. The ring that you are countersuing for the value of $1,000, yes. your grandmother's ring. Yes. You say that Ms. Haysbert pawned. What you just Why the smirk? Because I did. She, that's what I deal with. What was your understanding? Was it your understanding that the ring was yours? It was pawn? because he gave it to me because he said he wanted to marry you me. Nothing. So you therefore, me. therefore, you I pawned it. It was in I my wife's give you pawned nothing. it. My Ms. grandmother Hayesburg. gave me that ring. You probably it's lied priceless. about that. It's priceless. You lied about that. I would never lie about my you grandmother. She in the grave. You're a liar. She gave me that ring. You're, You're a liar. You're a liar. The lying that you're talking about is what? What what is the lie about the ring? Belong to his grandmother for the simple fact that's the same ring he gave to Kiana first, and then he gave it to me. You gave it to Ms. Lynch, mm -hmm. and Ms. Lynch, you you accept? I gave it back. You gave it back. Yes. To when I found out about this chick. Right. Now, Mr. Howard, you then go and give it to Ms. Haysbert. I didn't give it to her. We was doing something at the time, and we was you know, not. We she conversated. A she conversated about ring. And you I gave me the ring. Her. She's talking to me, boo boo. She's talking to him. I kept asking, her, "Can I get my ring back? Can I get my?" No, I ain't doing this. What? Well. I left it at home. Oh, my she daughter went in my room it? and all this. She confiscated. So you're you're saying that she no, basically she stole your ring. Stole it. Look at it. Look how she acts. Look, <laughs> she's smiling. It's a joke to her. Life is a big joke to her. What the court really believes happened is when she gave you the ring back, you had an attitude. That hurt you because you wanted to be with her and not Miss Haysburg. But Miss Haysburg was your plan B. So then you went over there and found yourself, as you say, we was doing something. And as it relates to this evidence here, it sounds like you were doing a lot of I love you and I love you too. That's what you were doing. So why is it that Miss Haysburg would not think that that ring was given to her? on the basis of love and a relationship or even in anticipation of marriage, if you're telling her you love her. And once you give a gift, Mr. Howard, it's not revocable. You can't take it back unless she voluntarily gives it back. So she I did didn't... have the right to I did not give her no ring. That's crazy. Judgment for the plaintiff in that. Moving on to the DNA. Now, we're first going to get the results of Ms. Lynch's child. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics in the case of Haysbert versus Howard. Pertaining to six-month-old London Howard, Mr. Howard, you are the father. We know. That bra, I, I don't see what everybody like that bra I do. We're now gonna hear the next results. So, Ms. Lynch, now that you know that your child was fathered by Mr. Howard, how are you going to handle if, in fact, 
Miss Haysbert's child was fathered by him as well. We're gonna move forward. I'm gonna continue to be with him. I'm gonna we're gonna continue to have faith grow. We're gonna build our relationship, and yeah, we're gonna move forward. He's gonna take care of his son like he no, was trying not. to do in the beginning when she uh -huh. was not allowing him to. So yeah. And you're willing to encourage him I, on that I level. I accept him. Yes, I do. In the case of Haysbert versus Howard, pertaining to six-month-old Ricardo Howard Jr. Mr. Howard, you Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Haysbert versus Howard, pertaining to six-month-old Ricardo Howard Jr. Mr. Howard, you His father. <laughs> so death do us pop, bro. Right, I'm gonna so be a man. So it is what it is. I'm gonna be a Don't man. Don't call my phone. Don't I'm have that little wrench over there. Call my phone. Don't touch my phone. You will never see him. I'm never. Miss Haysbert, throughout this entire case, I have watched you wear the hurt on your sleeve. All this pouncing around and bouncing that hair and <laughs> acting crazy. You know, I almost allowed you to do it more than I would in any other circumstance because a part of me feels for you. You know, you live in that typical homegirl life. The guy is with another girl, but he got a homegirl. And the line is too blurred between friendship and more than friendship. I don't know why. I don't know who hurt you in your past. I don't know what bad relationships you've been in or where you were in your life to where you fell for that okie doke. But you did. You were. And now you have a child because of it. You don't get along, fine. But you don't keep that child away from his father. Ricardo Jr., right? So I'm going to name you after a man I'm not going to even let you see. Stop the nonsense. Are we clear? Yes. You've learned your lesson, am I no, correct? I did, yes. And you need to learn yours. Quit running around with your grandmother's ring talking about who you love and who you don't love. Decide as a man who you love, commit to that woman, and develop a real relationship. <laughs> I want better from all three of you. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Court is adjourned. I feel like, you know, I learned a lot from her. I'm going to take her advice and, you know, I'm just going to move on in my life. Like, me and my son are going to be fine. I'm not going to deal with this drama. You know, when I get back home, we're going to do what we have to do. When Judge Lake told me that I got a lot of growing up to do, you're right. But, you know, life goes on, you know. I'm trying to be a father to my son the whole time because I'm a man and that's what men do.